Stevenson from the Imagination Station. He's pulling some hovering magic in front of my very eyes right now. Jeff, what's going on? Uh, Chris, you should know that using the Force isn't magic, okay? That's just standard Star Wars science right there. Uh, you know, it's actually my static one. We sell these in our gift shop. And okay. You, I can actually pass this off to you if you want to get yours. Just get it charged up a little bit. Okay. And this is kind of a piece of, like, Mylar, similar to, like, Christmas tinsel. Um, and we have these sticks that kind of generate a static charge. So I'm talking to you about static charge today, and this is a really good time of year for static charge. You can see it's actually going to be attracted to your hand a little bit. Oh, and then you discharged it. I discharged it. You I discharged felt, it. I felt the shock. You felt, yeah, it kind of gave you a bit of a poke. They're really, really cool, and it's kind of a, a neat little Star Wars themed gift that we uh, actually sell in our gift shop. So they're really cool, but this is kind of like the mini version of dealing with static fun electricity. Fun for the kids to play with, too. Oh, fun for you to play with, Chris. Don't uh, lie. All I right. Act like yeah. a, I act like a kid sometimes. Well, what I decided to do okay. is bring in our EG machine. So this is like a really big version of these little static wands here. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that. All right. Come on. I'm gonna trade Woo. you. I'm gonna trade you wow. science devices. I, I upgrade here. Okay. So take this discharge wand, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my EG machine. What it is is the big belt that yeah pulled away a little bit. We're gonna you know you might hear it on your mic. You might feel a little tingly. The important thing is that we're not gonna point at it. Okay. If you point at it, it's going to discharge off the tip of your finger. So instead, you're gonna bring your discharge wand closer and closer to it. And what this machine does is it pulls off electrons off that belt. And as you can see, it's causing a little bit of an arc. Do you want me to touch it? Uh, you, you can, but it's best if you hold it just a couple inches away. And each one of, each one of those uh, discharges is discharging thousands and thousands of volts of electricity. And this is just by generating uh, static electricity. So there's that belt kind of rubbing the same way you can rub your socks right. against the carpet. And you get shocked when you touch the doorknob. Yes, exactly. And it's due to an imbalance of charges. All right, that's pretty cool, right? Now, can you do me a favor and can you very gently touch the two domes together so you can completely actually okay. push them together, physically touch them so I can turn it off. Okay. Gotcha. Very so cool, So we discharged right? You discharged it, it completely. Okay. So this is uh, kind of similar to like, you know, what uh, maybe uh, Dar Darth Sidious does when he electrocutes uh, uh, Luke Skywalker, okay. right? Okay. But he probably used, not static electricity, but obviously the force. So, sure. you know, we don't have to worry about that. Um, this is kind of the classic science center experiment where you have your hair stand up, but the problem is I don't think your hair is going to stand up today. I don't think my hair is going to stand up today, but I did bring a wig in. So what I'll do is I'll put a wig on our EG machine. I'm not going to ask you to wear this, Chris. I, I could see the worried look in your <laughs> eyes. They're like, oh, man, he's going to ask me to wear you this. You know, I got to hold my street credit out there, right? <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn the machine on. Okay. And we're going to show you what we can do if you have kind of like really wispy long hair. Woo! Ooh, all right, hold on. Let me put it back on. Let me put it back on because there's actually another really cool thing you can do. You know, Allie Bradley frequently complains about her hair standing up. Due, oh, does it stand up quite humidity. like this? Due to the humidity. Now, what's really cool is if my wig will stay on, which of course it won't. Um, but what's really cool is you can actually discharge the the charge on the hair with just a point. Like I can use ah! my pen here. Oh, it's not going to stay on for me. That's okay. Too too much power. Too much power. Okay, wait. Can I touch it? Do you want to? Do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know if it'll do it with your hair, but you can try. Go ahead and put one hand right on the top. M why don't you do the other hand? Why don't you do the other hand? Okay. All right. I'm going to turn it on. And the important thing is that you don't take your hand off of the dome during this. Okay. Okay? <laughs> okay. All right, now, uh, let's see if we can't kind of, can you whisk your hair around a little Too bit? Too much hairspray, Allie. All right, you, you, you can see like a little <laughs> bit. Is it doing anything? No? Uh, you, you, need, you need very light, fluffy hair in order for it to work, all right? And I'll, no, keep your hand off. <gasps> keep your hand off. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I hurt my no, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> All right, so to kind of... Wait, what happens if you let go? Um, you you know just how, found out. You know how, <laughs> you know how when we had um, this discharge wand getting mm -hmm. closer to it and it was arcing? It'll do a similar thing to your hand, so it'll kind of give you a big shock. Oh, I didn't dun, feel dun, that, dun. but I felt stuff in my toes. Oh, gotcha. So you were grounded. That was good. That was good. You were actually grounded. Okay, I'll let you guys have this oh, one no, back. No, thank you, Thanks, thank you. guys. So to kind of finish it off, I figured I'd put on some packaging peanuts on the okay. top of our uh, dome here, and it's going to cause... Let me get rid of this her. wig. There's wigs everywhere here. It's going to cause these packaging this peanuts is, to just oh. kind of fly up because they I each generate a charge. Like of, Similar I'm to your different hair, um, it puts the same charge in each one of your hair... Uh, uh, pieces of hair, and so they repel from one another. So similar charges repel, just like how these packaging peanuts are kind of repelling from one another. Okay. So it's actually fairly cool. So I would, would this work for popcorn, Jeff? Well, it, you know, it probably would work for popcorn, 
I um, can imagine putting that in there and trying to catch it. Oh yeah, I mean it worked for anything. Like you can put like Rice Krispie treats on here as oh. long as it's small. Okay. And um, that way yeah, you can actually generate. Yeah. So you can you can imagine if you had some popcorn, it would work fairly well, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I don't know how old these Rice Krispie treats are, Chris. I don't know if I'd want to eat them. I eat just about anything. <laughs> Very cool. What's going on with you guys, Jeff, at the Imagination Station as we uh, get right around out the new year? Well, we are still on our best, most fun time of the year, which is Frostology, which yeah. is going until January 3rd. Okay. And so it's kind of the science of the holiday season. I really love it. We do all kinds of different holiday kind of themed things with snow and uh, even decorative stuff. Like you learn how to make three-dimensional origami snowflakes, which are really, really cool. Because we're not seeing snowflakes outside. And there's like no we snowflakes. We might as well go inside to the Imagination Station to learn a little bit you more about You can make that. some snow at Imagination Station with some instant snow. All right, Jeff. Appreciate that one. Stay with us. We have more WT11 Your Day coming back in just a moment. Thank you.